Hey, what's up guys? I'm making another Java programming tutorial type thing. I have I've been skipping over a lot of these, but I still I, right now I have a list of ones I want to do. Uh, I have 45 here, but I skipped over a few for now. I might go back to them, but um, I'm trying to get a little harder. I have for my next few videos, I'll be showing you guys how to show current time, make a program that will show the current time. So if you have a website and you want it to show the current time on the website, a program that will calculate sales tax and a program that will commute a loan and a program that will commute change. Um, I have tons more coming than are just the next few that you guys will be expecting to see. So let's jump right into it. I'm showing time. Uh, showing current time. Alright, so first off I'm going to do what I like to do at the beginning and that is save as I'm going to name this show current time dot java. Alright, now I'm going to want to make a public class show current time and then type in the most famous line in Java code public static void main. Now it is look at 3 a.m. again, so talking for me is hard while I'm trying to concentrate, so I might mess up a lot while I'm talking or pause for a minute while I'm talking. Alright, so. Now we want to type in long space total milliseconds is equal to system dot current. Uh, does that? No, I don't think it matters. Current time millis. All right, so yours should look like what mine does. So, alright, so now you're going to want to oops, type in. I just like to space it out, make it, it's a lot easier to read. And you can also, if you're new to programming, you can type in like, hello. And you can put notes here for like, if you're working in a company, and you're programming, making a program, and you want to put notes in there in case you get moved up or, I know I mentioned this in a different video. You get fired or something, so they know what you're doing or what you're thinking when you're, I guess, coding at the time, so you, that they can edit something if you messed up or they need to add something. All right, let me read it over. I think I messed up on something. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. All right, so now we're going to divide this by 1,000. All right, so we're going to want to type in long. This is probably my one of my biggest programs so far in my little series type deal, showing you guys how to make programs. All right, so current seconds. I know my last video, I was pretty tired. It was I always seem to make videos at like 3 a.m. for some reason, but that's when I have time when I'm out of work and stuff. So yeah, I uh, and I spelled a lot, a lot wrong in my last video, and I just messed up here. This is actually a percentage of 60. There we go. Alright, total minutes equals total seconds, I believe, seconds. Alright, so basically what this is, is this is going to like obtain the total seconds since midnight, January 1st, 1970, or like whatever you want to put. So this one is 
divide by 60. This will, right here will commute. Com fuck, I can't talk right now. Alright, uh, let's just keep going here. Minutes equal to total seconds. Oh shit, you know what? I just completely messed up. Mm, yeah, that's total minutes right here. This is percentage. Which is the a percentage is the remainder. Alright. <clears throat> now here I'm gonna put the total hours. So it'll be the total hours equals to the total minutes. So I wanna put hour total hours equals to total minutes. Now uh, in Java it is case sensitive so make sure all of them are uppercase or lowercase depending on what they're supposed to be. Now you want to note the current hour as well equals two total hours remainder of 24 now basically this is all of the program right here. Now you're just going to want to display it onto your program. So you want to type in system.out.println. So now it will display to the people using your program. Now here you're going to want to make sure there's space so it doesn't look all cluttered. I know I forgot to do that in one of my videos. So it looked bad, but did it this video. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos and you're new to programming, uh, go ahead and I would do that. Seems like the smart thing to do. I don't like the how everybody does like hello world type one so I'm going to try to do more advanced to show you guys I know it's good to be able to know how to code before you get into college so that you yeah, have an easier time passing classes I guess and more time to party oh oops Alright, so huh. Uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. Should work anyway. Alright, so now I'm gonna want to create a compiler. So here I'm just gonna make a quick simple compiler. If you guys wanna see the more basic ones where I show you how to do the titles and color and stuff you can check out my previous videos um show current time dot java pause again i mentioned this in my other videos you do not have to type that pause in here Be well, it won't show your errors it will just ah oh, my x bar keeps disconnecting alright so Compile that and it will show my errors. Now, so here I messed up. I already see where I messed up at. Right here. Then shift it. Now save that. See what other errors I get. Alright, so I knew there was going to be errors. I'm not good at talking and typing at the same time. Alright, so current time is current hour. Alright, so I tabbed these out because I forgot to do that before, but I just found my mistake. I put current seconds, but up here I put, well, here I put current second. Up here I put current seconds, which this 
it really can be anything but I'm gonna go with current second that's the air I have hopefully that was my only and last air alright no oh shit now I just have show current time uh, no current minute alright so I did the same thing I put an S on current minutes up here but I'm kinda glad that happened just to show you guys how easy it is to make a mistake and so yeah now press any key to continue and it works that means it worked alright so yeah again I'm happy I did that just because it is very easy to make a mistake if you're not paying attention like I mentioned this in one of my other videos before like you're working at 3 a.m. you gotta be up at 6 a.m. because your boss last minute told you you had to make a get something a program coded by the next day and so again now when you're tired and you're well, you don't really think straight when you're tired but anyway you have to put pause on the run or it will just close out your program so save as I guess just run dot bat alright so run it now the current time is 614 GMT time which here it is not I'm um, Eastern time so it is 214 a.m. but anyway thanks for watching and hit subscribe for more videos I have again tons more programs coming in my next videos so hopefully you guys like my videos and you're learning something I'm not good at I'm not like that good at programming I'm just I'm in school for it right now so I'm learning I'm doing this as a practice for myself as you've seen I've been making errors but I mean it, I am pretty tired not really used to setting up the slate but yeah it just shows how easy it is to make an error while you're coding by adding an extra letter or misspelling something or doing a typo but yeah thanks for watching guys